when you put this lineup together, is it depressing? Do you say to yourself, I can't believe I'm hitting Brandon Drury third. I know tonight he's hitting sixth. I'm hitting Billy McKinney cleanup. I mean, what goes through your mind when you have to put a lineup together that, I mean, listen, no disrespect to these guys. It's not a major league lineup. Well, you know, I feel pretty good when I write every every name down uh, or type in every name down oh, nowadays how it is. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just every guy uh, I think is going to give us a chance to win, every guy in there, whether it's defensively, whether it's offensively. Uh, and, you know, we've been in every game, I think. Uh, even though we faced some adversities, we don't have some of the guys or a lot of the guys that were there, they won. Uh, the guys that we have, man, they come, they've been competing. They've been grinding. They, they're brave men. Uh, they came on. uh, uh in the middle of this, you know, and they're up to speed with everybody else uh, from a from a uh, competition standpoint. And when I write this lineup down, or when I type this lineup down, I feel that we're going to win, uh, and everyone's going to contribute. You know, you 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 found something out um, that you never could have expected to find. You found yourself a new first baseman. <laughs> I mean, I was telling Evan, McCann has been great defensively at first base. He's picking one uppers. He's making plays to his right. He's been very, very good. Yeah, he has. And then, uh, listen, this guy, um, he's a professional. Um, he's, he's really honest. Like everyone is here in the club. That's something that we've been really good as a team, just being completely open with each other. When he, when he, you know, we asked him about first base, which was a while ago, he was honest that he knew how to play the position. And uh, we worked him every now and then there, and he's always looked really good. So when the chance came in to actually put him there, there was no surprise for him like, well, or anything. I mean, he was very outgoing about going to first base and playing. I didn't expect him to make the play he made. That was outstanding. Yeah. But uh, that's that's backing up exactly what he said to us the whole time and how he looked in practice. As well. well, I'm glad he went to first base because otherwise he wouldn't play. I mean, Tomas Nito, and I give you credit, you're putting him out there every day, he deserves to. I mean, he's... To me, he's the starting catcher for the New York Mets, even when Pete Alonso comes back and there isn't first base for James McCann. I, I think most Mets fans agree that he has taken that job from James McCann. How do you feel about him? Well, right now he is. Right now he's playing. Uh, he's playing. He's getting more playing time. I talked with both guys. I told Nito that he was going to get more playing time, and I told McCann that Nito was going to get more playing time. And We created an opportunity there just for Mac to work on his hitting and all the things that he need to uh, uh, work on and, and get better and uh, that's exactly what he's done. Ooh. Like I said, we we have the ability of being honest to each other and open, and, and the communication has been great, and the guys have been great about it. So, Mac has responded. Nito's doing great right now. So, he's amazing. Yeah, right now he's Do getting you, more, more playing well, time. Well, he's can, doing a great job. Connected to all of this, Pete Alonso, he's supposed to be the first guy back and healthy. When can we expect to see Pete Alonso back? Uh, I don't have a date for you right oh. now. He is swinging two hands uh, in the cage. Uh, he is progressing. He's doing all his defensive work out there with Gary DiCertina, our info coach. And but uh, he will have to go to a uh, rehab assignment. I mean, mm. he has to see some live pitching before he joins us, right? That's that's part of the test, you know, his progression to uh, meet us uh, hopefully sooner than later. Is anybody coming back soon? No. I mean, Nimmo, Conforto, no. JD. Are any of them expected back? Let's say next two weeks, three weeks, or no? Well, I, I, Alonso should be the first one. That's why I expect probably be the first one. Uh, maybe JD afterwards, even though he had a little bit of a setback uh, with some of the joint inflammation there in that left hand. Um, Nemo is trending better right now. He's getting the, the pain is diminishing uh, in his uh, in his finger in the left hand. Luis, can I, uh, can can I, I interrupt you for uh, one Ty sec? Walker. I got to interrupt you. I have to ask you a question. Go and ahead, no, no names. You don't have to put. You don't don't attach any names to this, but. This is you've been around baseball a very long time. Your family's been around baseball for your know, generations. Are players soft today compared to I don't know twenty years ago? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. I don't see it that way. I mean, I, um, I mean, I just think that uh, there's just more. Everything's more advanced right now, you know, so we're more precautionary. So guys doesn't lose probably uh, his career or a significant more amount of time, you know, so technology right now is able to catch some of these injuries and prevent things like that from happening. So there's a lot of this happening. I think, um, that's, that's the way we've, we've advanced. That's my opinion of it. Uh, but I don't think there's, there's a change. No, I, mean, I think he's spot. I think look you... at Kevin, look at Kevin Pilar. I mean, he's, yeah, I'm not I talking mean, about a guy. He's right. Though. I'm not talking it's about a guy breaks about... his face. No, 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 but you he's know. right. It's all about teams making that decision. 